Welcome back to Gordon's Views and Reviews, where I buy products and test them, give you my honest evaluation, and occasionally we look at everything from world politics to how my grass is growing. In this video, I want to talk about the events in Washington, D.C. on January 6th, 2021. Donald Trump has stated on more than one occasion that he is a stable genius. I've watched him now for more time than anybody should have to watch him, and I've come to the conclusion that he's probably right. If he lived in a stable, he would certainly be a genius. And we all know what a stable produces in abundance, just as Donald Trump has for the past four years. Since the November 3rd election, Trump has insisted that there was an unprecedented fraud. He's correct. He's the one who's been perpetrating the fraud. He claims he won in a landslide and that the victory was stolen from him, despite there being no evidence to support that. And of course, the fraud only happened in states that he lost and only happened on the presidential vote where Republicans won on the same ballot. It would take a genius to explain how that works. Yesterday, Don Jr. and Rudy Giuliani were the opening act for Donald. They both called for the violent overthrow of the democratically elected government of the United States. When Donald spoke, he urged his supporters to march on the Capitol and demand that the Republicans in the House and the Senate overturn the results of the election. Why have these three treasonous clowns not been arrested? When he spoke in the late afternoon, President-elect Biden called the riot an act of sedition. In speeches in both the House and the Senate later in the day, many also called Trump's participation sedition. Some have talked of impeachment and some of invoking the 25th Amendment. So I ask again, why is this person still not being held to account? This is the real fear after four years of this stable hand that he and his band of criminals will not be held accountable. What happened yesterday, January 6th, 2021, was a coup attempt. And it was fortunately not handled any better or more competently than anything else this genius has ever done. So far, the only thing he's been able to do well is convince millions of not so deep thinking or critical thinking people that the product of his stable smells like roses. 